John chapter 11 from verse 45. Then many of the Jews who had come to Mary and had seen the things Jesus did believed in him. But some of them went away to the Pharisees and told them the things Jesus did. Then the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered a council and said, What shall we do? For this man works many signs. If we let him alone like this, everyone will believe in him. And the Romans will come and take away both our place and nation. How about Lord? Then all the prayers we have been praying, in which altar is he coming? Praise the Lord. So many times, we, find, we come to that point in our life that you begin to question your consecration. You begin to question, have I followed him in vain? What about those seeking for the fruit of the womb? Let's go that one. God, what do you need children for? What do you need to, no woman will give birth in heaven. Why can't we give us, give us the, ba the baby here? Why are you holding it? Is it too much? Uh -uh. They say you are a God that what? That the way you gave Sarah, give me. And it's not coming. You are even throwing it away. Teenagers, a girl of 18 years is pregnant. A girl of 16 years is pregnant. And a woman that is 25 years, with a husband we even did wedding in the church sometimes they will say maybe you didn't do wedding go and do wedding Talk. you will gather all your savings Abby, our Lord, since we have offended you we are sorry let's go and bless our wedding five years after blessing you are still telling the same stories sincerely many of us have come to that point and we have drawn back that was what happened to these women. Their brother. The Bible said, whom Jesus loved. Jesus loved him. That's what the Bible said. They said, Lazarus. Not the Lazarus that lives in Krum in Tagayo. That Lazarus you love. So that's what the Bible say. That Lazarus you what? You love. Has done what? Has died. Ah, ah, Lord, what is your definition of love? Your definition of love is that you should help those you want, you love. Yes. When they call you, you what? You answer. When they knock on the door, what do you do? You open. When they seek, what should they do? They should find. That is the definition of love. Then you will remind him, you preach to God now. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he what? He gave. So one of the indices of love is what? Is giving. Amen. And discouragement. They were discouraged. Even when Jesus eventually came to their house, did they give him attention? They were not happy. Martha said, well, if you have been here, he, our brother would not have done what? Would not have died. Where were you? She was, and she was calling him. Why did you delay? Why did you delay? So, I want us to know that whatever it is we are going through, God has a way of treating people he what he loves. In fact, I concluded, God's love is tough. How I many of you have heard of what they say? Tough love. <laughs> tough what? Tough love. His love is tough. And that is why he can be watching he will chastise. He will punish. He will allow those people he loves to go through terrible and hard times. Not because he hates them, but because there is something he wants to what? Demonstrate in their lives. Praise the Lord. And that was so. When eventually Jesus got to where Lazarus was, they even wanted to go. They said, No, don't bother. The sister said, Don't bother. He has been dead four days. He will be smelling by what? By now. The situation is impossible. The problem is so bad that I don't think anything can be done. Let's just, be, let's just pray for grace eh, to deal with the situation. Sometimes we make that kind of prayer. Is that not so? You are not expecting a miracle. 
You just pray for grace to tolerate the situation. Jesus said, I can do more. Take me to where he is. Take me to where he was buried. And the Bible said, when he got there, he called him forth. Praise the Lord. And Lazarus now came out. Amen. That is how God deals. He has season for every one of us. Praise the Lord. He has time. He has season. And for every time and for every season, there is something the Lord intends to what? To achieve. There is something he wants to achieve. For the delay, there is something he wants to achieve. For the pain, there is something he wants to achieve. For the losses, there is something he wants to achieve. And the Bible always says that the glory of the later is always greater than that of the world of the former. Because the Bible said that immediately this thing happened, many who heard of it, they believed in him. His fame spread abroad. Even these women that thought they knew him, in fact, they saw another dimension of Jesus which they have never seen before. Praise the Lord. They knew he could raise the dead. Is that not so? But Martha said, eh, we know. But he's on the resurrection world day. He said, no. Even now, if you believe. So sometimes, when we go through seasons, it's for a reason. It's for a purpose. It's for an instruction. And at the tail end is that his fame shall spread abroad. And most times it's for even a deeper revelation of who he is. These women, they knew him. They had walked with him. They had followed him. But this dimension of Jesus they did not know until they saw. Until they saw that a man can stand and call forth a man that had been dead for four days. They say, Lazarus. Lazarus, they believe that the dead, that everything that died can hear the voice of the Lord. Even your body, even your body, even that sickness, it's just for it. If he hears the voice of the Lord, it will respond. Even your business, once the Lord calls it out, it will answer. Because a man that is dead cannot hear. Can he hear? But he can hear the voice of the Lord. So all that is needed is for the Lord to call. All that is needed is for the Lord to speak to the situation. A situation that looks so impossible that even the sisters, even the recipients of the problem did not believe that something that their brother, they didn't believe. They know he will, raise, he will wake up, but it is on the resurrection morning. So can we allow ourselves can we allow God to walk with us in our relationship with him without regret, without anger, without bitterness? Let's release our life in his hands. The Bible study we were following on Saturday, one of the, th one of the instructions the brother said, he said, dear to trust God. He said, dear it. Take the risk of trusting God. Take the risk of believing God and you will see so, having said all of that, when this had happened, the Bible said some people were happy. Oh, many people believed. Many people were rejoicing. But what did some people do? They carried the reports. And they went to who? The Pharisees. <laughs> Praise the Lord. That was where, as I was reading this scripture, I, what was coming to my mind is how they have meeting in secret society. How reports is being taken to the cohort of demons. These people saw the miracle. They were there when they saw Lazarus stand up, came out. When they heard Jesus say, remove the grave clothes from him, they saw it. My expectation was that they would have been happy. Is it not? Ah, if I were there, I would carry them to my grandfather's grave. Say, Jesus, please, call him to come out, please. Maybe there is a piece of land some people have claimed because my grandfather was not there to say, say, Lord, please, wake him up. Let him come and settle this problem. Or maybe I have a relative, a brother or a sister. Don't you understand? I will look for a way of inviting. In fact, that great Habba, he will not live there. We say, Lord Jesus, don't be partial. 
as you have resurrected Lazarus. My, the next tomb is my brother-in-law. Please, his name is Emmanuel. Please call him. I'll be shouting the names of my relatives that have died. So that Jesus will hear and he will be what? Calling them. But these people, they said, okay. Hmm. They were moni monitoring demons. They were not happy for the dead. They were not happy for this family that had received a testimony. Me, that was my problem. They were not happy. They were not even desiring that what happened in this family will what? We happened to them. They are not even thinking of a way of organizing a program and begging Jesus to come to their own graveside so that they are dead. Some of them had dead had um, some of them, their children died, their brothers died. That should have been the intention. But they carried, they were downloading. If some of them had camera, bah, they'll be videoing it. Hmm. Evidence. Let's not miss any move. Praise the Lord. They captured it and they took it to the Sahindran. They took it to the court where the enemies of God sit. They said, look at what he did. Can you imagine? He rose the dead. And their anger was not just that this man rose from the dead. They were angry that people would start hearing. And they would start believing. So let's look for a way of spoiling this testimony. 